Hello folks, I'm Ownspack33. Welcome back to Let's Play Kirby Superstar. Part number, I don't know. Revenge of Meta Knight. Boo. Now we're gonna lose balance. Okay, Meta Knight is like taking over now because the uh, chicken guy seems to uh, be losing it here. Okay, what am I doing? Yeah, what is he trying to do? That was stupid. Let's take a Sir Kibble here. Like, what are they in the duct for? Why is there enemies here? I don't get that. Like, there shouldn't be any enemies if I'm in a... And there's an elevator? Like, none of this stuff should be here. Uh, if I'm not supposed to be in here at all. So, I don't know. Uh, you can go through here, you can get some powers in there, but if you go up here, there's a little secret up here. It's not that secret, but kinda. And it starts auto-scrolling, I don't know if it stops. No, it doesn't. And here's the armory. It has a uh, health in there. It has a mic power-up, which is pretty cool. Uh, we're not gonna be using that. Uh, health. And a bunch of powers for us to use. Well, I haven't really used a lot of... You know, let's go classic. Let's go beam. Beam is definitely one of the old standby powers for Kirby. So let's use it. Positive about this. Yeah, don't fail again. Release Heavy Lobster. We fought this guy a very short amount of time in, uh, in the first... In the last part at the very beginning. And now he's going to be the first boss of this part. Yeah, it's pretty easy to get by this, especially with beam, because like beam clears and all these star blocks here. And heavy lobster is destroying the ship quite literally, um, which is pretty funny. You can't do damage to him right now; it's kind of stupid. You should be able to hit him. You can probably like end the fight though, because he's not actually trying to kill you. He's just walking toward you briskly. Um, but something I'm gonna, do. I'm gonna try to show off something I never really showed off. Um, ever. If I can. So I'm gonna have to d delay the fight a bit, make it a little more epic. So I'm not gonna do a lot of damage to him. Alright, I'm not gonna do it. Okay, well, we gotta get rid of Beam to do this. This is gonna make it a little bit longer of a part, which should be no problem. Okay. Uh, his next attack should be the thing I wanna suck up. There we go. Is this. This gets you the very unique paint power. Which used on Heavy Lobster or also Gamelio Arm in um, the other <laughs> in uh, Great Cave Offensive uh, messes with them. What paint ability? It's no good. You can't see it all. Yeah, I just I completely blinded Heavy Lobster. Kirby's still alive. They're still talking, which is funny. Okay, I'm waiting for him to do some sort of attack that I can uh, inhale here. There we go. Now, Heavy Lobster, when he's in this form, he will do random stuff. He might start walking backwards, hop. He has no idea where we are. Unlike when you fight Heavy Lobster normally, uh, he's got no idea what's going on. Because I guess, I don't know, he's a machine, but maybe someone's piloting it, and now they can't see because there's a bunch of paint over him or something. But, like, this, is, like, really delays the fight. Because now I don't have any projectiles because he's not facing me at all so he's being really stupid right now which is really annoying and the timer's probably gonna run out so I'm just gonna have to wait until he comes back into play here and hopefully releases a projectile I can kill him with there we go yeah that's a one way to delay that fight but it's pretty cool I could have also held on to paint power and had like a helper and then I could have showed off the description of it because it actually has a description um, when you press start, but you can't view those during boss fights, which is really stupid. Um, it's gonna mix here, see if we can't get some mirror going on. A sword! Two mixes of sword, get a sword. <laughs> Go figure that. Uh, the mirror thing was the inside joke, by the way. If you've watched Griffin's back, once again, I'm afraid I ain't going! And then the chicken guy says you chickens, is really funny. Cause he's a chicken! Always found that funny. I don't know, like, maybe I shouldn't have, like, done a Let's Play of this, because I'm like, oh, look, I've seen all this dialogue before. <laughs> Alright, now this part here, they give you wing and suplex, uh, two very mobile powers. The suplex has the throw, which actually gets you pretty far, uh, pretty fast. That's the whole point of them giving it to you. There we go. If you hit off a wall, you stop, which is good. Uh, they can give you wing, too, but I prefer suplex. Mainly because you don't see it as much. I mean, Wing are just normal enemies, but uh, Bugsy and uh, whatever the heck his name is. A weird 
other throw guy. Um, <laughs> like they're mini bosses, so you only see them when you, you know, when you see them. All right, but that's it for Suplex. Ring it, Yo-Yo, once again. Love Yo-Yo. Uh, but we can get a, another power-up secret room with this. Uh, these should like be for percentage. It's not, but they're pretty cool to find. Let's get power-up zone. Well, there was one I missed. Oh, I should have showed it off. It's in like the third stage, which is like which is like the second stage of not being on the halberd. And I'm not including the dock either. So it's yeah, it's stage three. Uh, let's get a fighter. You know, it's gonna mix. Okay, let's not get a mix. Let's go to sleep. I just want to take a nap. Good job, Gim. Or Jim. I don't know what name is. Where are you? I don't want Yo-Yo. Let's go. Let's go naked for now. Gotta be naked. Let's see what power-ups we can't get here. Cannon power-up? No, it's not. You can absorb them really easy, though. You would think that would be a little bit harder, but he's Kirby. Oh, look at this! I'm still running, uh, running the bullet or cannonball. Alright, so let me give you one power here. Bomb. I guess we should use it. And uh, the text here actually tells you how to beat the boss. So if you're not paying attention, uh, you could actually have an issue with this boss. Um, but what you want to do with the laser is you want it to hit the big old shining crystal there. Now this part at the front, you can destroy it. It'll eliminate one of his attacks. Uh, these things you can actually destroy too, but there's no real point. Uh, but this thing can hurt if you let that hit you, so... Do the best to avoid it. Uh, these things will bounce back, the lasers, they bounce all over the room, usually once or twice. So if you don't have a perfect angle with the diamond, use some, you know, clever use of angles and you might be able to hit it. Yeah, see, I got no choice there. The laser can also destroy that thing, too. It does damage, it, it's not like instant death, but he must, that, uh, cannon part must have been really hurt. There we go. Right, we're heading on to the last stage of, uh, of Revenge of Meta Knight, because we destroyed the reactor, basically the engine of the ship. So obviously, we destroyed the wings, destroyed the engine, this thing is going down, yeah. Can't fly, it's all over, so Meta Knight's like, let's abandon ship here. Alright, uh, what power are we gonna use? Cutter? We use cutter. I don't use a lot of cutter. I was just thinking about stone there, too, but nah. We'll go cutter. Now, you know what? Let's go stone. Stone ever. Cutter probably would have been more useful, but stone is powerful, right? And you can't get hurt while you're a stone. So I run this thing. Those, you know what's weird about those wheel-looking things? They don't give you wheel. I always found that weird. Like they really look like they should give you wheel, but they don't. Oh yeah, Muscle Man statue. Take you out. Yeah, stone's really hard to use. Just practically on enemies. Uh, this is always weird. There's a maximum tomato here, but if you run right, there's another maximum tomato. Why? In case, once again, if you're not sharing with your helper buddy, like, whoops. <laughs> That's something you should have mastered at this point. Anyway, there, there's their last attempt to kill you. That's pretty, like, they're pretty insane. Instead of trying to save their lives, they're going to try to kill Kirby. Or capture him. I don't know what they're trying to do, but... No one's making quick work of these guys. Because it's overpowered. It's disadvantaged, it has like no range. But you're invincible, so they're evacuating. <laughs> yeah, they're like, we're out of here. Just get the crap out of us. We're done. Uh here this power room even has sleep. There's none there's no point in grabbing any of these unless you have a buddy with you. This is it Kirby prepared to die? <laughs> and the Waddle D, he's still hanging around. Uh, that sword, you actually, you know what, those powers might not necessarily be useless uh, for it, unless you have a helper, because if you choose just to wait it out, uh, you don't actually have to grab that sword. Eventually, Man Knight will just be like, screw you, I'm gonna just fight you, you don't wanna take that sword. I'm giving you a fair chance at, at uh, combat here. Oh man, that's doing really good. Yeah, Man Knight got all his OP attacks, you know. Man Knight. But he's done. And look, he looks like Kirby! I never really understood that, so are they related? Can Meta Knight use the same inhale power that Kirby has, just chooses not to? I don't know. He's of the same race, clearly. I don't know what ra They always refer to Kirby as like Star Warrior, but I mean, he's he's something. <laughs> but he looks exactly like Meta Knight, so... Meta Knight has his mask back here, because he's like... 
Yo, man, I don't want anyone to see my face. I look like you. Man, I used to be so good at this. So good. Uh, you're invincible to all of Knight's attacks. Until you decide to jump. Uh, he can get you when you're jumping for some reason. Okay, let me jump there. There's one more jump, I think, right here. I think that's it. Don't think we have to do anything else. No, nope, that's it. We escape off the halberd pretty epically, considering we just jumped off on a, on a wheel. Uh, but if you look really close, you can see a little dot flying away from the ship. Meaning Meta Knight is not done yet, because he can fly. So if he can fly, why he needs this, well, you know, he's only one guy, so he can't exactly take over Dreamland just by himself. He needs a giant warship. And we'll never hear from any of them again, you know. The Kirby Superstar, that's it. That shows all the powers, which is pretty cool. A unique uh, credits scene. Uh, you don't see anything like this anywhere else in the game. So, yeah, that was Revenge of Meta Knight, a fun game. Uh, uh, definitely like a classic style Kirby game, it's just like straight linear, you know, clear stages. It's really more like a classic platformer. Not like when we were playing Dynablade where it was a uh, stage selection or Great Cave Offensive where, you know, it's kind of like you explore it, you know, you go whichever way you want to go. Although you are, you are essentially going from point A to point B. Much like Spring Breeze, I guess. But yeah, it's a fun... It's a fun game. It's definitely a fun game to try to speedrun because it keeps your uh, your top time of like how quickly you manage to complete it. So definitely a fun speedrunning game because you don't actually have to time it. You can just whatever your top time is like that's your score, right? So it's not you know perfect in the seconds, but you can just compare that time with someone else. We'll we'll look at it, see how we did. All right, and that's it for uh, Revenge of Meta Knight. Opens up probably the best game. Milky Way wishes. I don't know. Great Cave Offensive, as annoying and hard as it is, is still, I still like it a lot. Revenge of Meta Knight. We got twenty thousand eight hundred seventy-eight whatever seconds, milliseconds. I don't know what they are. Definitely not set. I don't know how long it took us. <laughs> whatever that time is. Yeah, I really don't know what it, it translates to, to be honest. But yeah, you can try to improve that and whatnot. That that's the only game that like keeps it, it has a score for some reason. I don't really understand why it has a score because it doesn't keep track of that. Like Dynablade keeps track of your high score and Spring Breeze also keeps track of the high score. So I don't really understand that. Great Cave Offensive, it just keeps track of the treasure total, but we got everything. Uh, but that's it. Uh, I'm gonna do Samurai Kirby probably another time. We've already done Megaton Punch. I think I showed that off. Uh, but next time we'll do Milky Way Wishes. A uh, very unique Kirby game, um, and pretty awesome too. But uh, until next time, I've been OwnSpec33, thank you for watching, and uh, that's enough Kirby for today. It's been a lot of fun though. So bye!